Hi, I'm Ferengian, and this is another Ferengian metalworking video. Today we're talking about aspect ratios for chainmail. What are they? What are they good for? And how do you find one? In chainmail work, aspect ratio is a ratio or mathematical comparison of the diameter of the center hole, the inside diameter of the ring, to the diameter or width of the wire in the ring. Usually in math, we would report or show the ratio like this using a colon or slash between the numbers. But since fractions are used in a lot of ring size elements, and we want to be specific about what we're talking about, a lot of times mailers talk about ratio a little differently. Generally, aspect ratios compare one to some other number. We have one inner diameter, one hole, and we're asking how many wire diameters it would take to cross that space. So a lot of times we talk about the ratio as a single number. So you may see aspect ratios reported like this. If you use the single number approach, it's probably a good idea to use words or letters to identify what the number means. This isn't algebra class, but we still want to be sure of what we're talking about. We use aspect ratio to talk about what kind of rings work for what weaves and how tight or loose the weave will be. Basically, it's a tool for thinking about how much stuff you can fit through the hole in the ring and how much you can play with it when it gets there. When you're looking at chainmail patterns, there are really two kinds, weave patterns and project patterns. Weave patterns talk about aspect ratio. They are instructions for a weave, a way of working with the rings. You need to know how much space you need in the ring to make the weave work out. It doesn't really matter what size wire or hole you're using as long as the ratio of wire size to hole size works out. A weave pattern makes a piece with a given pattern, but makes no promises about the size of the finished piece. Project patterns make a specific object. Project patterns are more likely to talk about specific sizes of rings and not talk about aspect ratio. Project patterns make a specific thing of a specific size, so the size of the whole ring becomes important not just the ratio of wire size to hole size. If you're playing with a project pattern, aspect ratio is still important because it limits some of the ways you can modify the pattern. Here are two sections with completely different ring sizes. The weaves look similar and have a similar level of tightness because they have a similar aspect ratio. These two sections of mail have the same gauge wire but different diameter rings. The one with a larger diameter has a larger AR, which tells us that the weave will be looser. The larger AR also tells us that we can do this six in one pattern with the rings. Let's compare that weave to the four in one. You can see that the six in one has more stuff going through the hole in the ring, making it tighter than the four in one. In fact, the six in one weave wouldn't work with the smaller rings. There's just too much stuff and not enough middle. The first thing we need to do to find the aspect ratio is make sure we have good information about the rings we're using. If you're buying rings, a good website or catalog will have all the information you need. If it's a good chain mailing site or catalog, they've probably already calculated the AR for you too. If you're making your own rings, you need to calculate the ratio for yourself. One really important thing is that you use the same kind of units in your measurement. You can use whatever units you want, but the thickness of the wire measurement and the inner diameter measurement need to be in the same kind of units. The interesting thing about ratios is that as long as you use the same measurement units for the numbers you put into the math, you get basically the same ratio or AR as a result. You can use inches, millimeters, furlongs, or cubits, and you still come out with the same ratio. Because we typically talk about wire by gauge, you usually need to convert gauge to inches or millimeters to do the AR calculation. And make sure you know which gauge system you're using. Most precious metal dealers that I've dealt with use standard wire gauge, but depending on what material you're using and where you got it, you could have standard gauge or American gauge or some other system that I've never heard of. Not all gauges are the same. Now that you have your information, divide the inner diameter of the ring by the diameter of the wire. And there you have it, the AR of your ring. 
Now you're ready to talk and think about what to do with it. I'm Ferengian, and this has been Aspect Ratios for Chainmail. You can find other useful videos on my YouTube channel. And check out some of the other stuff I'm involved with at my blog, wordsmeanstuff.wordpress.com.